I'm the CEO of Intertrust Technologies Corporation, one of the co-sponsors of this event. And digital identity and digital trust are an important part of what we do. We've been doing a lot of research. We have a lot of products in this area, and we're very interested in the trends that are emerging on the internet today. We're testing the limits of what the internet was built to do originally. The internet was originally built as a system that assumed that everybody who used it was trusted because it was built for the military, and of course, people were physically authenticated. Now, in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, people developed techniques for password protection, public key infrastructure, and other authentication techniques that could authenticate and verify the identity of machines and people. When everything on the planet becomes interconnected, obviously, these techniques that have been developed starting in the 70s won't scale. There are more people than ever on the internet today. Anyone on the planet with a mobile phone that counts in the billions is probably connected to the internet. People are using social networks, people are using cloud services, and that's just the beginning. You're gonna see everything down to light bulbs and motion sensors and smoke detectors, everything connected to the internet. And in that world, the techniques that we use to identify and authenticate things, data, and people just won't work. There's a raft of really cool open technical problems out there that people are trying to solve that can help us authenticate securely and scalably across the planet. And that's going to involve not only a lot of smart people in research and engineering working together, but also policies that have to be done within companies, within countries, and then between countries and between companies. And finally, standards for technology and for best practices that are applied to solving this problem holistically and transnationally. Identity goes much further than just privacy. I mean, privacy, nobody wants their private data uh, misused, and that's a piece of the story. But identity talks to the very integrity of the web. Somebody can imitate me, someone can turn off a power station, someone can destabilize a highway network. It's not only a technical problem. There needs to be policies and best practices. There needs to be social behavior that's trained down at the consumer level. And ultimately, the law has to change and national policy has to change. And if you do that right, you'll have perfect digital identity around the planet and you'll have privacy uh, by design and a lot of good potential from these technologies that are rolling out. If we don't do it right, it's going to be chaos.